These patients uh, did, were lucky because they did not have any um, significant uh, complication. So they had uh, little problems uh, correlated to the amino suppression, and uh, particularly they were able, because it, they were able, not the teams, huh? they were able to live uh, a normal life. I think that their life was really improved by this transplantation because they had the possibility to travel, to work. Uh, the, the patients uh, transplanted in Lyon went to Rome uh, to, to meet the Pope and, uh, and uh, he, he worked again. He had uh, other children. And so I think that it was really a possibility. The patient is satisfied. And this is the most important point. So we have the possibility to have metabolic complications such as diabetes, uh, decrease of renal function, uh, osteoporosis, hypertension, uh, but you can also have infectious complications. It's significant for us uh, 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 as a profession because it tells the rest of the world that what we know works does work. So hand transplantation does work. It's a very good tr treatment for limb loss and the success and results are enduring and long lasting. <laughs> So the function, the mechanical function, the sensory function, the movement, the, the whole of that is very good indeed. We, we know that, and that's, that's well established. But what we hadn't ever really understood was it's not just about appearance, it, it's, it's about the feeling of completeness. And, and any, anyone who's lost a significant part will know that, 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 that there is that nagging, constant feeling of being an incomplete person. Non, c'est pas fanant, c'est moins fanant que ça a été avant, c'est pour ça que je vous le dis. Et avant, c'était plus blanc, il n'y avait plus de, pas de poils qu'on poussait, il n'y a rien. Oui, là, Parce qu'on avait, avait tout rasé, hein. même moi, on avait tout rasé de A à Z. Hein. On ne peut pas dire les mains aussitôt après la greffe, c'est impossible. Non. C'est vrai qu'au bout d'un an, un an et demi, deux ans, un an et demi, deux ans, j'ai dit, c est, c est, mon cerveau avait compris que j'avais euh, été greffé. Et... Today, the transplantation of upper extremities are better than prosthesis, but we offer both possibilities to all our patients before we put them in the waiting list, which is a very important point. The patient have, has to choose what is the better option for him. I think that in the majority of the cases, with the 20 years of the follow-up, uh, the majority of them are success. To the beginning, we used only steroids and adatropine. Now we have so many new drugs, and it is it is well possible that we will prove them. I think that it will do.
the majority of patients with limb loss are not suitable for hand transplantation. So there will always be a role for prosthetics and pro pro prostheses are very good indeed. But, but e even, even the best of the bionic prosthesis is heavy, it whirs, it clicks, it's slow to act, it has no feeling, it's not warm, it's not human, it, you won't feel complete, you, you don't want to hold hands with it. It's not a human part. But there's no doubt that if, if you can't have a hand transplantation, the prosthetic solutions are often very good. But if you had the choice and all other things being equal, I think knowing what I know now, most people would choose a hand transplantation if they could.